What's up, Ruto? Man, oh yeah. Today, I just want to share this 514 chord progression. And also, you can kind of view it as a 251 as well. Okay, so we're going to do it in the key of E flat. So the 5 being B flat, and the 1 being E flat. Okay. But since it's a 514, it's going to be like a minor on the 5 and a major on the 1. For that reason, you can kind of also view it as a, like a 251 going to the A flat. Okay, so I just want to show it in the song, just so that you can kind of get an idea of how it's going to sound. Okay, so we're in the key of E flat. So, what I'm first doing, I'm first gonna give kind of like a quick overview so you can quickly get what I'm trying to do, and then after that, we're gonna take it slow and break it down piece by piece. Okay, so what we have over the five is a B flat sus two. Okay, so that's a B flat sus two, and then we go up C and F sharp. Okay, that makes like a triton. So, this is like a C triton. Then from here we go D flat. It's a D flat chord. We play like an inversion of this chord. But then we add that seven. So it's, a, it's still a D flat, but it's a major seven. Okay, drop two. So that thing so it goes B flat sus two. Try it on. D flat. D flat major seven inversion. Okay. So that's over the five. Over the one, all we do is we go to the four of E flat, okay, which is an A flat. We go up an inversion and do this kind of the same thing we did on this D flat. Okay, now we're doing it on the A flat as well. So it's okay. And when we come down, we play F minor to the E flat. Okay, so that's going to the one. That's the move on the one, basically. And on the five, you have. And then on the one. Okay, that's another F minor to the E flat, to the four. Or to the A flat. Okay. Okay, so that's the quick overview. I know some of you guys would have gotten that, others would not have. So I'm gonna break it down way slower than that so we can kind of be on the same page. So, typically over a five chord, if you want to do a passing chord going to the four, you can typically do like a two five going to that four. So if you look at the four, we have A flat. Okay, so the two five would be like a B minor going to the E flat major. So any kind of minor chord over that B flat and any kind of major chord over the E flat works as a passing chord to get you to the A flat. Okay. So quick minor chord that he does. So we can use any minor chord over the B flat. So we're gonna do B flat minor seven. Okay. I just wanna show you something. So if you take these notes and kind of rearrange it. Okay, and then we get quite an interesting voicing. Okay, remember we have the B flat, we have the D flat, we have the F, and we have the A flat. Okay, so by rearranging it, you can get this chord. We still have the B flat, the D flat, the F, and the A flat. Okay, so it's still the same chord. So we can substitute that minor chord. So we can substitute this B flat minor seven for for this voicing. Okay. And then it does this interesting thing where it takes this go up from all step and bring it down to that chord. Okay. And the left hand you come from B flat to the A flat. 
okay and what it does is a so what you have is a your left hand you have a b flat your right hand you have a g and a c and then we, we take these two notes the b flat and the g we take it down off step and then we land we fall into that chord okay so it goes Okay, so that chord we can use as the two substitution for the B flat minor. Okay, so we're gonna do that in the key of E flat quickly. So we're gonna use this to get us to the four. So the song goes. Okay, you see over the five there we did that. Then we went to the E flat. Okay. So that's a nice little minor voicing that you can use. The other thing that you can use is the actual move that we did, which was, like I said, we started on a B flat sus two. Okay. So if you look at that chord, we have a B flat, we have the C, and we have the F. Okay. So basically, that's the one, the two, and the five. Okay. So that makes a sus two. Okay. So we're gonna use this chord, and then from here, we go left hand. C, your right hand, G flat. Okay, that's a tritone. So this tritone, you can also look at it as like a A flat seven chord. Okay, but we're not playing the A flat, so it's basically like a rootless voicing of the A flat, taking us to the D flat. Okay, that's so that's why that works. So it's kind of like. So you see, it sounds fine. Like if you go from this tritone to a D flat, that sounds normal, that's a 5-1 to D flat and the reason why we're going to D flat is if you look at this B flat minor chord if you make it a B flat minor 7 if you take the B flat away we're left with a C sharp okay, or a D flat major chord so that's why we're using a tritone to get us to that, because that kind of makes sense, okay? So it makes sense to go from from this A flat to the D flat major, and then on this D flat major, D flat, A flat, and the F, because this is basically a D flat major, and then we go up an inversion, okay? Still playing a drop, okay? So we have a F, D flat, and the A flat. So this still makes a D flat major chord, but we're playing the same chord basically, just inversion up. The only thing we're doing, we're adding that 7 to make it like a D flat major 7. So, so the whole move kind of goes the B flat sus 2, try it down, and then we go to the D flat and D flat inversion. And another thing it does to get us to that 5 is it plays a this, which is essentially like an F major chord. If you look at the chord, it's an F. Okay? And F, as you know, typically takes us to the B flat major or B flat minor even. Okay. So it's like the secondary dominant chord that takes you to it's like a fourth away, fourth down to that. Okay. So it's a five one basically to get us from the F to the B flat. So that's what we're doing. We're going. To the B flat. But on that F what you do is do this little slide so we have a F in the C and then in our left hand we go B flat A okay so we go from the F and we slide to the G and when we land on that G that's when we play the B flat so now we're going from the F to the B flat okay try it down D flat major inversion so this whole move is basically the five to the one and then we play like a five one going to the d flat and then we invert the chord so the whole thing slow now is this is the f chord go to the B flat, try it down, then we land on the D flat, and then we invert it. Okay. 
So now, that was over the five. That was over the B flat minor. Okay, now on the E, what we do is we do something to get us to the E flat. Okay, to do that, we go. Okay, so all that is is basically like a four going to the one. Okay, and the four chord is a A flat major. Then we do the same thing we do in the D flat, where we invert the chord. Okay, but we add the seven. And then back to the A flat, to the E. So it goes A flat, A flat inversion, A flat, E flat major. So now we're combining both. We're doing the thing over the B flat minor, and then we do the thing over the E flat major. Okay, so it goes. So in the song. Okay. So guys, that's the idea. I went a lot slower than what I usually do because I thought there was a lot going on and I wanted to make sure you guys actually understood. Let me know if that made sense. Please do. Let me know if it's too, still too fast or fine for you guys. Does it make sense? And then um, if you want more of this kind of stuff, you can click the link below and I'll send you something. I'll show 10 of my favorite chords and licks. Okay, I have a little video for you guys. Um, to click the link below and I'll send it through to you. There's one more thing I want to show you quickly. This is, you can, this is something you can do when you end a song. Okay, so or when you go to the one. So it goes... On the outside of this chord, it's E flat, the E flat. Okay, so that stays like that throughout the whole thing. So you're just doing little things in between. So on the right hand, we have the six chord, and then we go to the four chord, and then we play that two, three. Okay. And then we basically end on the on the one chord. Okay. So it's six, four chord, and we play the two melody, and then we end on the one. Okay. So that's what we're doing. left then all you do is kind of walk down half steps all the way from d flat c b and b flat so it goes and like i said this is something you could do when you end the song so it goes okay guys that's it hope you enjoyed that see you again real soon thank you god bless bye bye